everyone it's marine veteran uh welcome to another tutorial video and today we're going to go over how to properly network not doing what a ceo on a platform said to go into other streamers there's other ways to network there's other ways to foster that rapport and to build that camaraderie between content creators and streamers as well as gamers and kind of how to be yourself without having to you know shelve who you are we're going to go over docs and they're important especially whenever it comes to moderation we're going to go over social media and how to use it short form content and what i use and audio channels so we're going to touch on audio channels first because it is a little bit more intricate area that i would uh, i would honestly like to like, like to mention it's a little bit more intricate i will try to find a video that showcases how to utilize the audio mixers especially with voice meters and i'll have that in the description if i'm able to find a really solid one if not and i'm able to find one later on down the road it will be in the comments as a pinned comment so as you can tell right off the rip i have the mic audio input because it is what is registering as the microphone this is an audio technica atr uh, ATR 2100X USB microphone. If I had uh, an XLR or something that I could plug in, it does have a connection in the back right here that I could put the prongs in and connect to it for even more control on the um, on the voice. Now, as you can tell right here, I have desktop audio, and this is being funnel through VB, which uh, which is a virtual audio cable A. I also have Discord, which is a voice input, a voice meter input, VB audio, voice meter VIO, which is another virtual cable. Then on the music, I have VB audio cable B. And if you're curious as to what that looks like, and I already overwhelmed you, well, get ready. Because here are the V bands, which stands for V, which is the VB, virtual inputs. And as you can tell here, I have everything kind of coordinating with that. Right here is the desktop audio, which is this one right here. I have the music input, which you'll hear in a second whenever I launch it on Spotify. And Discord, I do not have Discord on here because I have it isolated to where I can just press a single button and it it um it'll mute the uh, the output. So I'm already in a um, I'm already in a friend's uh, Discord. I'm gonna undeafen and you'll see the input rise right here, but you will not be able to hear it. Hey guys. So as you can tell, y'all are not able to hear them. I'm able to hear them, but you know, they're also they're also memeing right now on Power World, which is amazing, by the way. Um, you're not able to hear them because I have that input and output muted on OBS. However, if I click the uh, if I click the button, <laughs> if I press the button, you'll be able to hear them. And I love it how they went silent. So the two. Okay, so I'm heading. Okay, so and now if I press the button again, you can't hear them. And I want to say thank y'all for uh, for this little experiment and everything. And like I said, they're me up Power World. I'll probably join them this weekend and everything else. But, anyways, the two creators links that I'll have in the description will be Jonah and Fee. Anyways, y'all have a good one. I instantly disconnected because they don't like it whenever I plug their stuff in, especially on a recording. But as you can tell, inputs and outputs are extremely vital, especially if you want to separate audio. Now, speaking of audio separation, you'll see I have the mic as it's inputted, as you see right here. But if I click this, however, you are able to see the input right here continue to go the reason why i'm able to do something like that is i utilize a stream deck and whenever i click the button on let's say audio or, or obs mic 
the mic down here. It will disconnect the input from OBS. Now, I mentioned desktop audio, which I have it labeled as desktop audio. And I have my own little stuff right here as well for the utilization of my OBS. So we're going to go ahead and disinclude desktop audio. I am going to play a futile, uh, futile, a futile max volume all the way up from 808 to fraction. And if I do this, you can't hear it. I can. But as I mentioned, the audio meter is going. And if I lower this down, it's not as loud for me. If I crank it up, it'll get louder. Now, as you can tell, try to get this over here. The desktop input is not being used. However, if I unmute it as such, now you can hear it. And the beats and everything are really, really good. But we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the music output. So let me find his stuff on here. on there we go <clears throat> and i'm gonna i'm just gonna click play on phantoms and to show you this is 808 diffraction on his um on his stuff and as you can tell i was listening i was vibing on um spotify listen link apart and busta really really good but if i click here y'all are not able y'all are uh, y'all are able to hear the music ever so slightly and to kind of showcase what i mean about the the different voice meters like if i turn this up you don't hear it as loud as you if i turn this down you can still barely hear the music where the audio channels and everything else comes into play especially when sending it out to a recorded format or to a live stream is within the audio mixer itself you have these sliders so if i turn if i slide this down i'm getting quieter and quieter but if i turn this all the way up i get louder and louder i typically want it between uh 20 20 uh, minus 25 and 20 decibels this way it's not overpowering because if i do this now the music's overpowering my voice Whereas I do this, my voice is higher than the music input, where I have between 50 and 45 uh, decibels. This is where everything comes into play whenever it comes to the different aspects of audio and everything else within that. And credit to um, to B and uh, the homies in her Discord for allow me to utilize that space to showcase what I was talking about with the different audio channels. Now, the next thing that we're gonna go over is we're gonna go over short form content and what I use. So I use Streamladder, which will take any clip URL from Twitch, YouTube, and Kick and load it up to TikTok, Reels, and YouTube Shorts. I utilize TikTok in shorts because with the reels, it'll format from YouTube if you have that, like if you have that set in. So within that, create a free account. I'm not gonna click login. Uh, the yearly subscription is like $40 a year. Just remember that you got a budget around that time. And I love it because there's a lot of different items. I'm just going to go ahead and log in with, uh, with Twitch. So we're going to go. All right, there's none on there.
And even if you need to take and upload anything from your PC, you can do so by clicking here and then upload from Twitch. So we'll find a video real quick. Um, we'll just use the video that I already uploaded on here to change whatever video you need, the different layouts. Keep in mind that the stars require you to have a subscription, but you can still utilize a lot of the stuff within here that's free. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to click on square. We'll select which area the face cam is. So we'll find here. We'll select the game feed, which whatever I want to be captured. Now, this will also blow it up on all aspects. We're going to highlight where I'm doing the damage, and then we're going to edit. If I wanted to add any text or anything from here, this would require a subscription. If I wanted stickers, find the ones that say free or captions. Just about almost every single one of these require, you know, like a, a subscription or anything like that. If I wanted to skip captions, I could. Video quality, it would essentially just be at a, a higher resolution. And I can click save or render the clip. Now from here, it'll load it'll load resources. It'll take a little bit of time in order for that to essentially render and format it correctly in order for you to upload it to TikTok or YouTube. Now I'm not going to upload it to anything. I'm going to go ahead and click out of here. I'm going to leave. I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm going to go to my videos. And on the shorts, you'll see I already have different shorts and everything on here. This is what I had on the from the stream ladder. So let me pause that. Let me pause this. And this is what I uploaded. And as you can tell down here, it did not catch it correctly. Get over here! That's what I'm talking about with uh, with understanding the correct way of doing all this. Close that up. Close that up. The other area where you can upload your content in short format is also TikTok. And I would urge extreme caution. What's your name, bro? What's your name, bro? Ethan. When utilizing TikTok, because people will take your stuff, flip it for theirs. That's why it's essential to have a watermarker or something wherever you can place it. Now, yes, I'm showing this, but I'm not playing it. I'm trying not to. We're going to go to my profile. We're going to go with an old one. Target marked. Request fires. This should be good. And boom. I'll take that fucking fury. And there you go. Same thing with, uh, you know, this one right hey, here. Somebody. Oh, you're over here. Okay. I can uh -huh. see the captions here. I'm right here. I'm playing with Fee. That is a book <coughs> Yep. I am running up to you right now. All right. Let's see what I got. Hello. Nani? So I like to edit a little bit of my stuff first and foremost before going and taking care of that. Now, what I will say is it's optional for you to edit. I use a free program called DaVinci Resolve. Some of their licensings on there within further editing and stuff. When you buy the license, you get a lot of other stuff. It's a little pricey. Utilize what you can for free. Now, whenever it comes to social media, 
be very, 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 very mindful to pay attention to how you send things, to how you respond, to how you interact with people, and also if you are sending messages. If you're sending personal messages to other people and it and um, you're not subscribed to Twitter Blue, there's a chance that you might have to in order to connect with that person. Or you can go the long roundabout way and just tagging them and asking them to DM you and everything. You may get it. You may not. Twitter and Instagram are really good for that. Um, LinkedIn's another good one. But if you're going to utilize LinkedIn, keep it more professional instead of how you would be on social media. And also, I would advise you to still be as professional as possible because you never know who's looking. You never know who's paying attention to what you're posting on social media. You never know who's looking and who runs a, a public relations section on um, on a uh, a developer studio. And you just so happen to just you know walk by them. They're like, I think I know who that is. Um, but it's just all about being careful as to how you represent yourself. And if you start getting in the realm of where people are being egregious towards you and everything else, just block them. Don't don't give people the time of day. If you want to give them time of day and have, you know, try to uh, iron out some, some details. I've I've done it before where I had it where I disagreed with a much larger creator, but we were able to actually have a really good conversation via Twitter and our each replies. And we came to, you know, the common the common conclusion, like, I see you disagree with this. I disagree with your notion, but I respect you for who you are. And, you know, dude is really, really good at it. He's a really good creator. And I know he doesn't need much on uh, promotion, but Cathalian, the dude is true to his word on being who he is. Um, where it comes into the realm of networking, don't just go to another streamer's channel, especially a partnered streamer, and be like, "Hey, I'd like to collaborate with you." If the if their mods are on one on that day, likelihood is you're going to get banned immediately. Foster that rapport. Start building up that relationship. Start building up that uh, that friendship. Because whenever you start building up what you, like uh, everything that you can, and then you start networking with people, and then you start gaming with them, and then collaborating and everything, one thing you don't do is comment on a video and start acting like a manager. Especially if you've only talked to the person once. You don't do that. That's not good etiquette whatsoever. That will get you essentially banned and ignored permanently. The reason why I bring that up is I had I had a gentleman who tried to do that, and I sent him a uh, an email telling him, "Hey, I will get to what I told you whenever I get to it." But network properly, or networking properly, and fostering a common common building that rapport are very very finite things because everything goes off the notion of respect and when you lose the respect to somebody like that it's gone forever like if um if i was to hit up uh you know um dr lupa we'll just throw him out there he's my biggest inspiration in content creation if i was to hit him up and say hey i want to run some dark off with you but I know my abilities, and I would slow you and the rest of the uh, the group down. Would you be willing to work with me? He could say, no, unfortunately, I don't feel like it would be good. Or he could be like, yeah, let's roll. Either way. And if he says no, I have to understand his position and respect his decision. And I said, this, oh, well, you suck and this and this and this and the blah, blah. Because all that's going to happen is going to be like, all right, well, you're banned from my channel and Discord. And blocked on Twitter, and blocked on Facebook, and blocked on Instagram, and blocked on here, and blocked on here. I would rather take the no 
can say, I appreciate you taking the time to respond instead of just flying off the handle like a lot of other people do. And the, the last thing that I'll say about why networking is important is because if you were dealing with something that's egregious, and I'll cover this in another video, and I'll give you my tips on how to essentially deal with harassment, is if you network with the right people, they will have your back. If you network with the wrong people, they will try to make your life hell. Try to find out where that balance is. Are they, you know, the good people that I can work with and that I can game with, chill, relax and vibe and hang out? Or are they just going to, you know, you, you know, use me for their own benefit and gain? And then whenever we have a fallen out, reach out to somebody and try to make my life hell. And that rolls into this next topic. Let me shrink this down. Bring this up. Go here. Pop that out. Uh, let's go here. Here. Come on. That. Pop that one out. And last but not least, pop this out. So as you can tell, I have the three different chats popped out, which is, which are right here. I have Twitch, I have Treble, and I have Kick. Each one will register where I'm typing. Now, the reason why the docs are important is if you are dealing with an with an issue where somebody is being egregious and everything, and if you're multi-streaming, it's even harder to try to take and go directly to, you know, each channel and deal with um deal with each person instead utilize the docs have the chats popped out go to custom browser and i'm logged in with switch on my obs and put in the applicable url because as you'll notice each chat has its own url so let's say you got somebody on kick that just put a uh, put a link in. You don't have link protection on. Just delete it. Like it'll register the same thing as you saw in the chat doc right there. Delete it. Or if uh, somebody's being a complete buffoon, you have the option to straight up ban them. It'll pop up on their on their profile and everything, but you can ban or time out strictly from here you don't have to go to the site this is also helpful if you have a like if you're working with one or at most two monitors having the chat docs helps now unfortunately for axel chat it's not that simple you'll be able to see where each one's typing that has those connections where it has every single connection where it's at. And then it'll allow you to go straight to them. You know, like right here. Or we'll just go type one, two, three again. It'll pull this up. You can click here and go straight to them. That's one of the best like that's one of the better functions of actual chat. Now When it comes to essentially monitoring your stuff, using the channel docs are by far one of the uh, the best things that you could do because if you need to clear the chat for whatever reason, which will say chat cleared for non-moderators viewing this room, 
Trouble will clear it and kick will also clear instantly as well. You could do that strictly from you can do that straight from your OBS. You don't have to go to you know that spe that specific channel. You can do it all from OBS and do it with these. Go ahead and close those. I will say this about being um being in this industry for the length of time that I've been in here. It'll tear you up if you allow it. It'll beat you down if you allow it. Find out what makes it enjoyable for you. Because if you don't have that notion to where you want to stream versus if you have to stream, then it gets into a, a topic of, oh, am I doing this for, a, you know, like for the right reasons? Am I doing this as a hobby? Am I wanting to make this full time, part time? Or, you know, anything of, of that. Find out what works best for you. And have fun. That's all I can say. It's just have fun with it. If you're stuck on one game and you don't find it enjoyable, swap. Swap to a different game. Save your mentality. Save your sanity. Let's say you're burned out on Grand Theft Auto. Right? And you stay, you want to stay within that type of genre, but you don't want to play Grand Theft Auto. Jump onto Rust. Or if you're burned out entirely on the survival MMOs, find, you know, something you've never, you've never done before, like a simulator game, an action RPG game, you know, stuff like that. I'm variety. So I, if I get burned out on shooters, like, I can only load up Destiny for uh, for so long. I'll jump over to um to an ARPG, an action RPG game, like Path of Exile or Diablo. Or if I want an open world type shooter, you know, just to vibe out for a little bit, I'll go to Ghost Recon. Like Ghost Recon Wildlands, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. But if I want a looter shooter and I really don't want to deal with Destiny, I'll jump on Division. Or if I want an open world survival MMORPG, I will jump on like Power World or Valheim or um or something like that. Or if I just want something that's out of the complete blue, like a management type of game, City Skylines or Frostpunk or Far uh, Farthest Frontier. There's a world of games out there. There's a world of content that you can that you can create. Do it the right way. I'm not saying you have to, but I would rather, you know, be in a channel that has, you know, like it, it, you know, that has some sort of professionalism with it. If you're like, if you're burnt out in, or if you're burning up, like, like let's say this room is like 80, 85 to 90 degrees. I'm kicking the camera off. I'm turning off the shirt and I'm going to have, I'm, I'm taking the shirt off and I'm, um, I'm firing up the, um, Portable AC I have and the fans that I have on. Versus if I was shirtless, some people might not find that comfortable. I tend to wear, you know, shirts on stream that I just pull from my closet. I have no set notion on what my wardrobe is. But I can tell you it will be as professional as possible. I'm not wearing a suit and tie or collared shirt. I'm wearing a t-shirt and shorts. That's it. Like I said, if I get overly heated, are, uh, you know the fans will be uh, will be on. That window will be uh, cracked. I'll have the uh, portable AC going, and I'll do my damage to cool off. And if I need to step step out of the room, I'll step out. I would rather not overheat myself and pass out on stream, and be comfortable out there versus miserable in here. Find what works best for you. Just know that each platform's TOS is different whenever it comes to how you are on camera. So, aside from that, I hope this helped y'all. If you could do me a favor, go check out the homie, ch the, the 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 two channels that I'll have in the description below. And if you could do me a solid, hit that like and subscribe button. Everywhere I stream will also be in the channel below.
it'll be in a uh, bio dot uh, bio dot me link and yeah i will catch you on the next one that'll be cool